Ron, what was the deciding factor that made you not want to compete in the oldest year? Too much work. <laughs> <laughs> and what are we looking at? You think we're going to see you on stage again? Yeah, I keep asking the same question. I, I, it's a good question. I got, I, I need a, a little bit more time to think about it. I get my mind ready for all the work I got to do. Uh huh. You look really good though. So you, you must have something up your sleeve right now, right? I'm uh, just trying to, trying to stay in shape. So when I do decide to be on stage, I'll be almost there. What's, what's the ETA? What are we looking at? I care about another year. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Right. A lot of people say that you still have the greatest physique of bodybuilding history. How do you feel about that? I don't know. That's I mean, what it's true, saying. so. That's what they're saying. Out of all the great bodybuilders in the history of the sport, people are still saying that you had the greatest V shape of all. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Samir, what is uh, your memory that you have when you won the Olympia? How, what were you feeling at this time in 1983, day before the show? Oh, the 83 Olympia was my biggest, my biggest highlight. I mean, that, that was the year. Huh. I felt very confident. I was ready. And uh, actually, I went to the show, and I was just, if I say 100%, feeling like a winner, I'd be lying to you. I was feeling that way. And I was prepared. And so I peaked correct and got it. This is the ultimate experience. Mm -hmm. I was feeling it. The minute I stepped on stage, I actually felt it. You knew you had that show. I knew I had it. I had a little cramp because I take a little potassium and aspirin mm -hmm. and they interact a little bit. But I kept my composure and I fought through it. And went backstage, Franco Colombo came and helped me a little bit with massages <laughs> and stuff. I came back that night all the way ready and no problem. Who was the one guy that you were looking over your shoulder at that night that you thought maybe had a shot? You know, was the it Bertle is, maybe? I mean, you know, Lee Haney was great. I mean, Bertel Fox was unbelievable. Yeah. I don't think Bertel Fox got what he deserved. He got, I think he got robbed. Mm -hmm. um, Macaui was good. You know, he came in second in that show but yeah. Lee Haney and Bertha Fox were very very dangerous mm -hmm. so well it's history yeah <laughs> and I got it and thank God uh, just one more quick one this show going on tomorrow night a lot of people are saying Jay Cutler looks like he looks coming in really on point and he's probably gonna be able to retain it what do you think well I think Jay is incredible he's a, he's a bodybuilder that has a you know the overall package mm -hmm. And he has that package over everyone else. Now, having Ron Coleman is not in the pictures, so nobody's going to stand up to him in mass. Yeah. But knowing that Jay is a perfectionist, and if he, and I think he will be in good condition, I think he'll win. Great, thanks. I think he'll win for sure. How much fun was it doing the Ultimate Fighter when you were doing the coaching? It was good, man. Enjoy that. What do you uh, What do you see in some of those guys coming through the house that you can see right away? Do they have it in them, or you know, if they oh, don't? Yeah. You can tell. Who was like? I think I can tell. Which like the one guy that comes to mind that you knew right away is the guy that's going to be able to survive and get through and get the contract? It's kind of a bunch, man. Uh -huh. You know, I think that when I did it, I. Uh, I didn't, I didn't really uh, recognize Samir's uh, talent uh -huh. right off, you know, so it was pretty cool that he kind of came through. And what do we got next for you? When's the next time we're going to see you in the Octagon? Uh, probably the end of the year, maybe. Who are you looking at? No, no, yeah. Looking at you. <laughs> it's, Don't hit it's me. It's scary. <laughs> All right. Jimmy, what do you think of the Olympia Expo, how it's going right now? You know what, brother? This is my first time. I love it. It's nice to be here, you meet all the fans, you meet all these bodybuilders. And, you know, I guess I have to have something to do with it, you know, and back in my days, you know, I used to be a bodybuilder myself. Uh -huh. I was Mr. Hawaiian Islands three times in a row. Wow, very good. And um, actually the whole thing, how I started in professional wrestling is that, um, you know, all the bodybuilders that where I was at, and all the professional wrestlers come to Hawaii, mm -hmm. they go to Japan, then they come back to Hawaii and finish off, you know, the uh, program. And that's how I got to meet all these guys. Mm -hmm. 
that's how I got involved in it, brother. So bodybuilding really was your, your springboard into pro wrestling then? Right, then right. I got into you know, professional. I started in uh, you know, 66, training. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and when I won my contests, then I went into professional wrestling. And it was history from there. Yes. How do you feel with your uh, you get your children are involved? You know, your son was involved for a while. And how how so, proud are you to see them in the WWE? Well, I'm so proud of them because you know it's not an easy thing to do. No. And uh, they have to be, you know, very sincere. You know, you're gonna have your heart and soul in it. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're gonna have it all. You can't just take half. You gotta take it all, brother. If that's what you want in life. That's the way to go. What's the biggest difference between your day in wrestling and what's going on today? Well, back in our days, you know, we were like the machines. We, we, were, we were in control. Uh -huh. You know, the promoter would just like come out there and say, all right, guys, do your thing, you know? And uh, that's what we used to do. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we were the mechanics. <laughs> and, um, you know, we just do the things that we think is right to do for our business. Well, comparing it from back in our old days, it's totally different what they're doing today. Yeah. Today, these kids, they don't have the psychology, you know, and it's a shame, but, you know, like these kids today, they've got so much pressure, brother, it's, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I mean, they got to read all these scripts and everything. <laughs> we never used to do that in them days, yeah. you know? It's more theatrics now than it was. Right, exactly. But, you know, I love it. Uh, I watch it all the time, uh -huh. and you know, I keep up with what's going on because now I got, you know, that's my boy over there, yeah. Jimmy. Now I got my daughter in there, so mm -hmm. you know, it just doesn't stop. It yeah. just keeps <laughs> on going, brother. And we're by yourself, independent circuit. You're still making yes. appearances around, right? You know, like I do a lot of raising fun for autism. Good. And uh, you know, I do things with the wounded warriors. I do it every weekend. I still wrestle, I still fly, you know, and I love it and I enjoy what I do. Great. Joe Pietaro here for Muscle Sport TV, coming to you live from Las Vegas. Olympia weekend is in full tilt right now. It's Saturday afternoon. Just got back from the expo. I had all the... Uh, Prejudging with the women today at the expo stage. Great day at the expo. We got some great videos you just looked at. Superfly Jimmy Snooker, WWF Hall of Famer, of course. Sergio Olivia, the myth. We talked to uh, Samir Banut. So you can just check out all of those videos. All of them, not just today's, but all the other ones will also be on MuscleSportMag.com and on our Muscle Sport TV YouTube channel. Met with some clients today and hopefully some prospective clients walking around to all the boots. Not as crazy as the Arnold Expo, but everybody knows that going in. I would say this year was a little less crowded than it's been in the past at the Olympia Expo, but definitely a good time had by all. You weren't uh, squished in the boots. You can actually walk around to the aisles and get to see the people and get some good pictures with your favorite bodybuilders and celebrities that were out there today. The Hulk, Lou Ferrigno there also. The King, Ronnie Coleman, obviously, as you know, we just saw the video. A uh, good friend of the Muscle Sport Mag, Ronnie Coleman. But tonight is going to be the... Uh, you know, we have the women, we have the fitness figure, and Miss Olympia finals tonight at 7 o'clock. So we're going to gear up and get ready for dinner and go out to the uh, finals. We'll definitely bring in you some more information after the finals are over later tonight. And definitely, of course, tomorrow with the men. Uh, five hours at the roulette table last night, and I walked down $50. 50 bucks in five hours. Not bad.